Hi everyone. Welcome to this talk this morning, this lovely day. My name is Evelyn Ikandi. I'm a psychotherapist and I specialize in addictions counseling, but I also handle a wide range of topics, ecological topics that is. And today I'm talking about a very interesting topic, <laughs> having children from different fathers or having children from different mothers. What happens if you happen to have children from different fathers or from different mothers for that matter? Very interesting topic. Because society dictates that such women with children from different fathers are immoral. Mm. Women of role morals, prostitute for that word. <laughs> yeah, that's what uh, society stereotypes such women. And men, you are immoral, that's why you have different children from different mothers. You are immoral, that's why you have different children from different fathers. Yet, there are situations that lead to this. For example, you were married. And um, the marriage fails, so you have children from this relationship. And you move on into another relationship and you get a child from a different relationship. The others whose spouses pass away, they are widowed. After, after a spouse passing away, you want to move on. You, have, you get into another relationship. So you have children from the new relationship. And you end up having children from different fathers or different mothers. We also end up having blended families where you come with your children, I come with my children. So these children are from different partners, but they have to be to fit into this one perfect family. Perfect, so we imagine. Yeah, so what happens? What happens? What happens when you find yourself in such a scenario, in such a situation? Remember, society doesn't accept. It's not morally acceptable to have children from different fathers. But finally, you have them. What do you do? One is to accept that it has happened because in life there are things that can we can change, others we can never change. We have no control over them. Yes, you might have had control over them because they would say, oh, why didn't you abort that baby? Why didn't you use protection if you didn't want to have the baby? And there are people who will just go like, yeah, I got pregnant, but you want to abort the baby. So I carried the baby to birth and I, I brought the baby to birth. So. And such strong women are strong, especially women who end up having babies that never, never planned for, but never aborted them. You never got give back to them to throw them in dustbins. Uh, please, you're a strong mama. Big up to you. Although bringing up such children is not easy. It's not easy. Bringing up a child who is fatherless, a child who the society will call a bastard. <laughs> it's not easy. It's not easy. In fact, I find such women very, very strong. And I pray for those that have children from one father. May you never have children from a different father. May you never have children from different mothers. Nobody wants to have children from different partners. Nobody. But circumstances lead to this. Of course, sometimes circumstances beyond our control. Sometimes circumstances we could have controlled. Yeah, and maybe we are too weak to control them or a weakness got the better of us and there we are. But children are born and we can't reverse it. So we accept it. We have to accept, yes, I have children from different fathers. I have children from different mothers. And I have to be there for them. I have to be strong for them. Remember, you're the uniting factor to these children. I talk about this because, yes, I have children from different fathers. I have children from a failed marriage. I have children from a failed relationship. I have, yes. And, yeah, I bring, I, they are, I'm glad they're currently together as one big family. At one point, one of my daughters that was from my previous marriage stayed with her father for 12 years, so I was never with her for 12 years. That was a very sad experience in my life. And gladly, God reunited me with her about four or three years ago. So right now, I have my five children with me. But it's not easy, of course, having to bring them together and tell them, yes, you may have be from different fathers, but, hey, I'm your mother. You all slept in my womb, I'm a uniting factor. And we have to be strong for these children because some of them are also stereotyped. They're stigmatized in society, especially if the society knows. And let me tell you, our relatives will tell our children, oh, your father is not so-and-so's dad. Those are the meanest people around us. Yes. How do our children sometimes get to know that their fathers are different if we haven't told them ourselves? Our relatives tell them. Our friends who know the story tell them. But I pray that your children will never know that they're from different fathers from somebody else. Let them know it from you. Don't let them be told by somebody else because they will be told crazy things. They'll, their truth will be so distorted. If you have what it takes to tell your child about their father, their mother, please let them know it from you who bore them. And sometimes some parents are so secretive. They, want, they don't want their children to know their fathers. Let them know their father. Let them know they have a right to know their father. 
Of course, the experiences we have with these men could be so traumatic that you don't want to remember what this man took you through. I pray that you also get to a place of healing because you need to heal. If you don't heal, you're going to pass this pain to your children. You will deny them access to their father. You will deny them even the knowledge of their father, which is very important. Remember, a child can also get into addiction. I've dealt with addiction cases where a child tells you, I never got to know my father. And the more I asked my father, my mother about my father, she refused to tell me. So I drank because I never knew my dad. I got into drugs just to nurse the pain of never knowing my father. Please let your child know their father from you, not from somebody else, not from your friend, not from an outsider, because they will be mean. When they tell them, they'll be so mean until they tell it in a very distorted way. Yeah. So let's talk about this. You have children from different fathers. As a mother, please accept that, yes, it has happened. I cannot change this. Some parents hide it. They want to make people see that, yeah, they are from the same father. Is there, yet people look at them and they're like, no, these children don't look alike. <laughs> Maybe they even know the story, but you live in denial. You don't want them to know the truth. Sometimes also own up. You don't need to tell the world that, yes, they got children from different fathers. You don't have to tell them that they don't need to know the fathers of the children. But personally, accept it. There's nothing as bad as living in denial yourself it hurts you because it also costs you a lot of energy to cover up for the truth so what i want us to do today is if you have a child if you have children from different fathers as a mother own it up and you're a very strong mother you never got to do to abort that child you never killed them you they are alive today, today under your care because you care for them you love them congratulations and you're strong you're stronger than you think you're stronger than you imagine yes yeah, so what happens if you are in a relationship where you've come with children from a different relationship. This man has come with children from a different relationship and you have to get into one blended family. Take your time. Let the children understand that you're coming together because you love each other and you want to life. You make your lives better for each other. There's nothing as bad as keeping the children in darkness. You know, you assume that they are too young to understand. They understand. And if you don't tell them things, they will be told by outsiders and they'll be so corrupted. They'll take it so negatively. They'll take things so negatively. They'll, they'll be against you. They'll be turned against you. Tell them yourself. Tell them, hi, I'm planning to get married and I have this man who has children. I hope you guys get along. But if you don't get along, it's okay. We'll take our time to know them and to get to cope with them don't let them feel pressured to cope with these new children don't get them pre feel pressured to just bond they don't have to bond it is you to bond with this power with this partner and as you bond you your bond will make the children bond as well the other situations you just, you just have to look at the, the the repercussions you know you could be getting into this relationship with this man who doesn't accept your child he might have his, his child with you but he doesn't accept the child you came with what happens you have to weigh your options. Will you stay in this relationship and have your child face rejection? Sometimes some relationships are not worth it because if a man loves you, let him carry you with your luggage. Uh, but there are cases where you cannot impose it on him. If he doesn't want to accept this child, you can't force him. What do you do? Walk out? I don't know, but... There are times when it's not worth it. The pain we take our children is not worth it. You could get into a relationship where your child ends up being abused by a man who doesn't accept her. It's never worth it. You've heard of children who have been sexually molested by a stepfather who didn't accept her. So if you find your child not being accepted by your partner, sometimes you may have to discuss it. Maybe forgo the relationship or have your child stay with a relative you trust or where you can be visiting or maybe with your mother. Let the child stay with your mother and let the grandmother be the custodian, as you move on with the life, because sometimes you just deserve a life, you know? There are times when you just say, oh, no, lea wa toto, na lea wa toto, and you never have time for yourself. You have men proposing, and you just, you don't want to be in a relationship because, una lea wa toto. Sometimes you need a life of your own, and you might have to look at the pros and cons of having your own life, you know, having this new relationship, where you might also have children. And sometimes when you have children with you from a really new relationship, you are the mother who will, the mother is one who bonds these children, brings them together. Can you just make it, an, make it a conscious, make a conscious effort to bring your children together? Personally, yes, I have children from different fathers and I do my best to unite them. Some of these fathers have different status. One child might feel superior because the father has more money. The other child may feel, oh, my dad is a drunkard. My dad is this, my dad is the other. Let them forget about the status of their dad. Let them look up to their mother. Are they proud of their mother? If they are, good. Well, then let them focus on the parent they are proud on, of. And, of course, pray for the other parent to change. Because much as they are not together, we also need to hear that our dad is doing well somewhere. Nobody wants to hear that the ex-spouse is not okay. I mean, unless you just mean. 
it's good to have them have their good life because for the sake of your children yeah it's a very interesting topic tell me more about it what do you think about it have you found yourself in such a situation where you have children from different partners or i mean different fathers or your father with children from different mothers how do you deal with it how do you handle your children do you let them know that you love them more than this spouse or do you love the spouse more than you love the children tell me something tell me asante mm-hmm.